there. Welcome to Junior and Senior High Devotions. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Today is our last lesson with the illustrated ministry packets before we get into a special time of devotion and challenge for Lent. So here is the last kind of choose your own adventure style of devotions we've been doing. You have the resource for you in the link. Uh, the link is in the video description. So go ahead and get that pulled up, uh, print a copy, or just look at the material on your screen. Uh, but there are a lot, uh, those three pieces, a lot of great ways we can explore the scripture for Transfiguration Sunday. This is a really amazing story, a great lesson for us as we are going into the season of Lent. Remember, Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and we will begin our Lenten uh, practices and disciplines and focus on God here for Lent coming up. But first, Transfiguration Sunday, an amazing story from the ninth chapter of Mark. We have here a uh, gospel lesson from verse, uh, verses 2 to 9. And again, there's those discussion questions. Um, in the transfiguration story, Jesus goes out to a mountaintop with some of his disciples. And then all of a sudden, there's this wonderful, amazing, dramatic moment where he's transfigured. Uh, there's white light and wonderful symbols uh, and uh, Elijah and Moses appear, all these big Old Testament pillars. But you can read all about that in the gospel from Mark and then answer some of our questions like, have you ever had a moment of transformation? What was that like? Can you think of a time when there's been something that has transformed or changed about you? So that's that part of the lesson. As always, we have a really awesome coloring page. If that's something that helps you think and devote your time to thinking about the scripture for today, go ahead and uh, try and do some of that. It might take you uh, a while to sit down and do the whole thing or space it out throughout the week. A great resource there. And then a really cool activity here, uh, thinking about the people who are important in our lives from the people we know around us now all the way back to ancestors uh, and even the people uh, we are connected with through the family of God. And so there's some instructions here about writing your name, thinking about your ancestors, uh, people that you are related to, leaders and teachers in your life, and you can go back to historical figures, Bible uh, figures, anyone who's important to you, and then drawing uh, some trees and leaves uh, to remember that we are all connected uh, and our lives are connected. And so you can be creative, make a cool uh, way to remember all of the important folks who have come before us and connect us all together. So that's just a quick rundown of a few things that you can do for Transfiguration Sunday. I hope you take some time, uh, pick the activities that are calling out to you, uh, and spend some time with our scripture from the Gospel of Mark for Transfiguration Sunday. Now I mentioned last week that we are entering into a special challenge for Lent. We will be doing Lutheran World Relief Personal Care Kits. And so next week, we're going to kick it off. I'll tell you what those are, ways you can help uh, people get involved. Maybe you can ask your family, your friends, and your neighbors to help you out. But we are going to be making personal care kits and doing some devotions together for this special time of Lent as we reflect and repent uh, during that season and also look to the cross and the wonderful day of resurrection on Easter. So that's just a little taste of what's coming up. Let's pray before we say goodbye today. Let us pray. Transforming God, you are with us as we change and grow into our best selves. You connect us to those who came before us and uplift us today. Help us be the people you call us to be. Amen. Well, have a great week and we'll see you next Sunday for the first Sunday of Lent. Take care.